Right, back again. I've uh, transferred this uh, IR6500 onto the other bench near the, the laptop and the, uh, this larger monitor. I'm going to hand hold this camera and uh, see if we can just get this uh, connected to the laptop. I've uh, copied all of the files that are on the CD onto the desktop and you can see there well, what we've got. Uh, there seems to be an instruction manual for an IR Pro uh, but our one is the IR6500 uh, but I think we're going to have to first of all uh, just run these USB drivers uh, well, this is a 64-bit Windows 8 machine so we're just going to run this and see what happens uh, not all of this will appear on this screen it's just asking me whether I want to run this program and let it make changes I'm going to just click on yes that will move over to uh, this one here Well, that's one of the slowest installations I've ever seen for any software. Oh, well, OK, so it did nothing <laughs> and then finished instantly. So we'll click on that. Hopefully that's done. Uh, so if we go back up, the software should be here somewhere. There we go. There's the software. Let's just run that. Okay, that is on this screen now. Oh, Christ knows what that says. Okay. So that's what we've got. I'm sorry this has got one of these shiny screens, which really isn't very good. Stupid move to get this one. But there you go. Number of options, open, save, and print curves. Basic settings. No idea what you're supposed to do with uh, this, but I guess we plug the USB in and go from there. That's been recognised. Just going to let Windows do its thing down there. Assuming that's fine. Just going to hit this run stop button and see if anything happens. C++ exception. Oh dear, here we go. Okay, well look, this isn't going to work uh, straight out the, the box, I'm guessing. Uh, so, no point in showing you this. I'll uh, carry on and uh, see if we can get this working. <laughs> 